Hey there viewers and welcome back to Slime 2. Now before we actually continue, I want to go back to the first episode and uh, grab a couple of artifacts that I missed out on. Now the first one is actually in the back of the house. So it shouldn't be too hard to get. The other one, I'm not too sure if it ex even exists. But it's in one of these houses. When we were doing a mission before, I noticed that there were a few things for Sly Cooper to do. But we didn't have access to Sly at the time. It too was in the back of the house. So we'll get you later. Right now, we're going in here. Because, yeah, there were some things on the floor like that. And a few things up above we could climb. Hey, we can grab money at least. A silver comb. Definitely not what I was looking for. But I'll take it. Yeah, we can't get past that guy, can we? We might be able to get up here, though. Maybe just... Almost. No, we can't make it up there. Let's see if there's another path up there. I'm not seeing one unless we go across the lasers. The laser beams. So that's the thing, we can almost get up there. There we go, now we're up. Yeah, Sly was acting like he could get up here, so... Yeah. Now that we're up here... More pickpocketing. Another silver comb. I guess that's all these guys have. Let's hope that those silver combs are actually worth something. Okay, now here's the thing I was talking about earlier. This little thing to climb. There's got to be a purpose for it. Okay, apparently not, so the entire time... It was pointless. Well, what about this way? Well, again, we can get on the roof or nearby it, but it doesn't seem like there's anything to do up here. And there's air vents we can't really do much with either. Well, maybe we can. Hold on. We could be looking for a secret area. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so where are we? We came up all the way up here for just a couple coins. Please tell me there's more. Really, that's all that there is up here? That's kind of pointless. Kind of a waste of time, too. Well, damn, that sucks. I was hoping for more. Like, hopefully, another artifact. Something rare. Tis a shame. So much more could have not been done with this room. Oh well. Time to get the actual artifact outside.
We need all the money we can get. We're gonna need all the money we can get because apparently Bentley is not as useless as I thought he was. He's still fairly useless, but there are some upgrades I can get for him to make him at least usable. That's not saying I don't hate the guy, and not saying that I don't want to not use him at all, but at least he has some use. Still my least favorite character. So there we go. Let's see how, this, how much this thing is worth. We got two silver cones for 20 coins, that's crap. And a crystal chalice. Yeah, again, we're not going to buy these things. We don't need them. Alright, on to chapter 2. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. That was some awesome hair. Okay, Sly Cooper and the gang in... A starry-eyed encounter. And we are slow dancing with Carmelita. Actually, I don't think that was slow dancing. That was probably the waltz. Sly, scope out the palace, and then find a way to break into the ballroom. Let's find out who's at this party. It's a snake! Holy crap, we got elephants too. This is not going to end well. Can they step on us? No, thankfully they can't. And we can't really kill the elephants either. Good news for PETA. Yeah, and there's no way up there. Too bad, we can't really climb the elephants. And again, such a terrible hiding spot. We need better cover. What is Ben? Actually, I think Murray's the driver, so what the hell is he thinking? Oh, that's our hideout. Okay. See, now that's a better hiding spot. Really? So when the snakes attack, that kind of blows our cover? That doesn't sound right. And already our first artifact. Sure, let's take it in. Yeah, that's not really that bad of a timer. That's plenty of time. Now, while we're bringing back a time bomb to our base, I don't know. I mean, I would think that would explode it. Kill everyone. 
How much was that thing worth? A burial urn, 354. Trigger bomb, throwable bomb with remote detonation. Press X to purchase. This will probably be one of the few items that I buy just so I can actually use Bentley and he's not such a useless waste. Size the stabilizer, shrink guards by whacking them with your crossbow. Mm, yeah, that's kind of pointless. Fist of Flame, you know, Murray is actually pretty strong as he is. Turn ordinary punches into fiery ones. Jump to her heroic heights. Eh. Nah, I think I'm fine. Combat dodge. Sidestep enemies in combat. Yeah, I'm fine. Right, now we just need to get in the base. With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spy or jump? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. Well, I'll be damned. Sly actually remembered an ability from the first game. So the Thievius Raccoonus wasn't a waste. Now, some people did mention that if you pay close attention, you can slightly hear bottles bouncing around when you're nearby them, but my TV's kind of low right now, so that's going to be hard to make out. Come on, turn around. No, wrong way. Fine, play that way. See what I care. We are so greedy. Oh, wow, that was crap. I thought I attacked him. Oh, no. Yeah, go in the water. Thank you. And here comes the big guy. Let's haul ass. Yeah, right now we're pretty much just going after bottles again. That's that's pretty much what the first video of each chapter is going to be. Just me going around looking for bottles. Now that works. Just toss them in the fire. Yeah, this place is a little bit bigger than the first one. I don't trust that water. You know that effect below us, the water effect? That looks more like clouds than actual water. Makes it look like we're on a flying palace. Oh crap, he spotted us. Yeah, we're gonna have a trouble finding all the bottles, aren't we? Oh, we're one third done. Okay, note to self do not try and steal stuff from these guys. They are on guard. Yeah, we can't get up there. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to start the first mission. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll just, like, go and get the bottles along my path instead of trying to get them all at once. <laughs> 